Survivor's Journal. I've been working on completing the Mothership's hull and also the last few windows on the bridge. Now this took up a lot of resources. I depleted my st steel plate supplies. Uh, still have some iron ore left, but my silicon reserves are over. Uh, enough to build the bridge, but that's it. The asteroid where I was mining it from has gone completely empty, and now I feel the need to build some sort of a scout vehicle to more um, to more quickly be able to pinpoint where are where the ores that I need are. So this takes me to the ship production facility. I need one uh, so that I can build my ships, refit them as I see fit, and that will be the next step, which I will make clear in this journal entry. All right, first things first. I need to set a break on the grinder wall here. So, <clears throat> I wanted to keep these two um, these two uh, gravity generators accessible. So I I'm going to give this a little a little slack here. Uh, I'm thinking that I'll be able to access them from overhead. Uh, eventually, that'll be f for the interior design of the ship. This thing is big enough uh, that I can give myself some room to work with. Uh, but right now, I really want to set a break here. If you'll remember from the last journal entry, I uh, almost smashed the mass block into that block right there. So let me grab myself one of these and set it up right here so that'll that'll give it some some slack there and the mass block shouldn't hit the grind uh, or the uh, the rest of the hole the that little support there where the gravity generators are so let's just weld this all up and be done with this section here so that I may move on to start the ship production facility, which is going to be, I imagine, very, very important. I might actually want to weld those up too, uh, just so so that I don't leave too many loose ends. Now I am last to, I am uh, down to my last few steel plates. I have how many do I have? 679. I still have one one little uh, solar sail there. For, what What's that called? A business shipment. Yeah, uh, those things are moved by solar sails. That ought to give me some steel plates to work with. Uh, but uh, uh, still, what I really want to do is redesign my um, uh, my ship capturing fighter there. Uh, so that I may refit it whenever I want to and refit it easily enough in the ship production facility. So, I believe this is going to go like this. I, I'm gonna want a, a pit where I will produce the ships and I can use these supports here. This thing has to be perfectly centered and I will want uh, something along the lines of 3 high by 4 wide by 7 long. I think that's a pretty good number. Um, that'll be, uh, I believe, 28, uh, twi 28 uh, welders. And 28 welders, eh, I, I, can, I can manage that. So actually, let me get a guideline here yeah so the ship pro ah crap i'm already out out of steel plates the that uh, ship production pit has to be on the same level as the hangers and i am going for uh well, let me grab some of these i'm going for four to six hangers 
I believe six would be a good number. That way I can have a couple of them with drones, one with the fighter, another one with a scout ship, and another one with a minor ship, and an extra one for whatever kind of ship I need to make at the moment. Uh, at the moment, or I find, I, I find it useful to have. So there you go go this is at this level so the hangers should be actually this looks like a pretty good height to me if we go up by three like this hmm they'll be quite in the middle of the hole now I'm I'm going to try to have the hole a bit smaller in the front here so the the ship is going to funnel in and uh, I think hmm I think if I have the height of the ship more or less here a couple of blocks over this guy shaft here yeah, let's go a couple more up. So, that was three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's gonna be the t that block th there, this standard armor block is going to be the top of the, the production facility. I think this is far enough out. So the hangars will be on either side and the transport system from the production facility to the hangars is going to be automated and it's going to uh, allow us to clear these guide shafts here so there'll be no problem although well maybe I could fit them no 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 that would be way too tight I don't want to work with that okay so one two three and this, uh, at this level, will be the welders. So, one, two, three, let me just mark this here. This will be the bottom. And it will be bottomless, I believe. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight, and come back down. Okay, one, two, and three. And then this. Okay. Three high, seven long, and uh, four. Four. I'm already seeing a problem. Of course, that uh, four blocks, four standard armor blocks wide, is a uh, uh, an even number, and that would throw this part of the mechanism off center. And I really want it centered with with the ship. So let's go five wide wide instead, and uh, go. One, two, this way, and one, two, this way. Then an extra one for the wall. There you go. Okay, I'm going to uh, finish up this, uh, this parallelogram here to have the volume inside, to, to know, uh, to have a, a better visual cue of what I'm working with. And uh, as soon as I have that and I'm ready to go on to the next stage of building, I'll relog. Okay, next step is going to be setting up the welding mechanism. So I'm going to just pull this, these guides here, and the carrying these oxygen bottles with me is really, really hindering my progress since I I can't really carry much else along with it. So let me grab an extra 30 of these and maybe a, a couple of these just so, so that I have enough materials to complete this segment. Now this is only a wireframe for now, but uh, I am still going to weld this up in this journal entry just so, so that I don't have all these wireframes uh, spread around. So these are the the connecting hmm 
Well, I do believe I've made a mistake here. If I grab the welders... Welders are two standard armor blocks long, so this piston has to be an extra standard armor block tall. So let me take care of that right now. And uh, the delivery mechanism is going to be the, the most precarious um, of, the, of all these mechanisms. This is pretty much a, a standard ship printing facility. Uh, I have a guide piston up there with uh, welders. So let me grab these. Uh, six. I have to be careful with the way I I orient these. Uh, I'm seeing a problem. I I assumed that they had that they had portholes on all the sides, but they do not, which means I'm going to have to have a network of either of tubes and uh, and conveyors. Uh, to have this set up. So it's gonna have to be piston, then tubes and conveyors, uh, then the welders. I'm gonna have to lift this up just a bit more, so I'm going to do that and log back in. Okay, this should be pretty much functional now, so I want to weld up these upper portions here, and this block in the center is a conveyor which will feed the materials into the piston and into the rest of the conveyor grid and afterwards into the welders themselves. Now. Since this isn't hooked up to the main uh, cargo system here, I'm going to plop down a, a small uh, cargo container just so I can test out if everything's in working order, nothing's grazing the sides. I don't think it will, but there's always that possibility. <clears throat> so I'm going to plop down this cargo container here. I'm gonna fill it up with metal plates, well not fill it up, but um, deploy some, uh, insert some metal plates there, store some metal plates, that, that's more the word I'm looking for, store some metal plates, uh, this, this is actually gonna, uh, gonna demand a bit of hand-eye coordination here, uh, let me see how close am I, not very, I'm gonna back it up and that ought to be good enough so I'm gonna transfer cargo from lump into these guys so all the steel plates into there and um, I'm going to to make a, a little ship let's call it down here uh, now, uh, it'll only have armor blocks, but if these welders can weld that up, then the concept is pretty much proven. Uh, this area here is a decent size for most utility ships, and even fighter craft, actually. Uh, so, this should be all well and good. So, I'm going to take care of that and log back in as soon as I've transferred this cargo and have everything set up and ready to go. Alright, I believe I have everything set up for a couple of live tests. Now, a couple of things. First, I, of course, I, I guided myself uh, concerning the ship height. 
the the printed chip height i got it myself by the length of a piston and i just looked at those pistons over there which uh, uh, open and shut the uh, blast doors for the concealed weapons but of course those aren't extended all the way uh, so that's why I initially thought that the maximum ship height, printed ship height, would be three blocks, but of course it's more, I think it's around five. Um, now, uh, that having been said, uh, I had to lower the ground, so to speak, although this isn't, there isn't going to be a ground here. Underneath is going to be the ship me uh, pickup mechanism, uh, which I won't be making uh, during this entry. Um, I also lost the little object I had here, uh, so I believe it was uh, in one of my attempts to bring the piston uh, down after uh, making it go up, uh, and the, the the object must have snapped off or something, but I still had its blueprint, so the blueprint puts it right in there, and it, the, I already uh, made uh, tested this out, the welders don't reach as far down as these, uh, as this level here, so uh, any ship that I print here has to be slightly elevated from this, uh, as you can see from here, o only one block, one small ship standard block ought to suffice. Now, I am going to test this out, uh, a co make a complete test. I have all the all the um, the elements I need on that uh, cargo container there, uh, and I want to see if the welders weld as far as here, because that means if they do, uh, all of this is complete completely weldable. I had to make a couple of changes here because uh, things were getting in the way of the welders and of course I I put in too many of these, of the conveyors. Uh, of course I only need one row of these, the rest, uh, the wel welders themselves are connected up. So, without further ado, let's make a live test here and I've already set up a timer block. So. Uh, timer print, timer block start printer, Th this will... I hear stuff be being welded, this will pull up the piston as slow as 0.1 meters per second and I'm already seeing a problem here, yeah, yeah that's not gonna work uh, because it needs time to actually get to the ship itself. So, um, piston uh, welder, no, welders printer, that's the, the welder, let me see, Pis piston printer, there you go, uh, toggle block off and welders toggle block off. So what I'm gonna have to do is keep the welders uh, or keep the piston extended for um, I'm going to say if there's a big ship here and it still needs to weld up these armor blocks which will probably uh, be uh, th these connecting blocks here I'll probably replace with um, conveyor tubes because they, they build and uh, and grind way faster than standard armor blocks but I believe I'm gonna give it like 20 seconds before the piston starts retracting so I'm gonna set that up and be right back alright everything set up second test ready to go and I forgot I took that blueprint with the projector on uh, so it's projecting itself all over again, and I'm wondering how... Hmm... Did it disappear? No, it did not. However, I can't see it from down... Oh, yes I can. There it is. Yeah, it only projects itself once, because the second projector isn't built yet. Uh, but everything's ready to go, so... Without further ado, let's see if by waiting 20 seconds here, uh, print start, start sequence, timer block, start printer, start. There you go. Now this is going to weld and wait for 20 seconds before the piston starts retracting. 
Uh, and I'm very curious to see if if that time interval is enough to um, to allow it to build everything. Now, as soon as it starts pulling up, I'm not sure if it's going to be able to build right now that second chain. Yeah, it's starting to build it now. Uh, but it's not going to be able to weld up that landing gear there, I don't think. No, it wasn't. It was too fast, but... This is something that with uh, a ship printer has to be taken into account. If you have a setup where the welders start welding from, let's say, here, and then the chassis of the ship goes up, in this case it went up by a couple of blocks, the landing gear's here, then goes one up, then goes another one up, it gets to there, to another point in the frame, and goes down, uh, which would be that landing gear, the ship printer won't be able to pick that up unless it's a very minute distance, like if the welders are right on top of here. I wonder, this was almost welded up. It. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, there, there weren't enough large tubes there, so if there were, these would have been welded too. This one, it must not have reached it, but it welded up quite, quite up to the... Um, uh, to the side here, uh, and this seems to be working out really, really well. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm very happy with with this. Uh, the let's call it the projection mechanism is going to be a little hard to design. I I have a couple of ideas for that, but um, I still have to flesh them out. Uh, I do have a timer block to uh, abo or to reset the printer, but I'm not gonna use it yet because if I do, uh, let's say welder print, yeah, if I do toggle block off, if I do it will reset the the printer like the name suggests, uh, bring it back down and it will crush that. I have to retrieve these supplies here. I'm probably gonna use lump for that but yeah on the next journal entry I'm not sure what I'm gonna work on if the projection mechanism or the ship delivery mechanism into the hangar base uh, but in any case that's going to be for the next entry so for now I will be signing off Hey everybody, just wanted to thank you very much for watching, uh, welcome to all the new subscribers, we're almost at 260 now, so we're growing fairly well and you guys seem to be enjoying this, so we're gonna keep it up, don't forget City Skylines twice a week now, and uh, Homeworld Remastered will be making a return soon enough, so stay tuned, and until then, as always, I have been the Neural, and I hope you have an awesome day.